Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I'm back with a little more food for thought. And today's food for thought is in the form of a question that I received from Hope Bai. She says, Hey Danny, I've been eating vegan for the last few months and I've lost quite a bit of weight. Sometimes I feel great, other times I feel pretty sluggish. I was wondering if you would do if you would be willing to do a video on the pros and cons of not eating meat and dairy. I trust your opinion, it would be very much appreciated. So I think that's a great question. Um, and of course, at the end of the day, you know I'm gonna tell you that the real work here is that you're gonna have to do a little bit of your own detective work and try to figure out what's going on for you and your body. And you're gonna figure that out by looking at what you're eating and noticing how you're feeling. Now, the sluggishness, you can go one of two ways here, right? The first thing you're gonna do is look at what you're already eating and then notice how you're feeling after you're eating. Is there something in your diet that you're eating right now that's creating this feeling of sluggishness? You know, maybe you find that you're feeling sluggish whenever you eat um, a lot of grains or a lot of pasta or something of that nature. Maybe you notice when you eat that food, you're feeling sluggish. Now on the flip side of that, the sluggishness could also be a result of something you're not getting from your diet. So perhaps if you notice, well, I'm, I'm looking at what I eat and I'm writing down how I feel and it seems that no matter what I eat or what time that there's always this kind of underlying feeling of sluggishness, then that probably means that there's something that you're not getting in your diet that your body is looking for. So again, that's gonna take a little bit of detective work to play around with um, and figure out what's going on there for yourself. Now, with that being said, the one thing that all nutritional experts do agree on, and they don't agree on much, is that a plant-based diet is a very good thing, right? So a high quality vegan diet is definitely a positive thing if, it's, if you're really eating a plant-based vegan diet. Because remember, you can be a vegan and be eating pasta, potato chips, and french fries all day long too. Technically, you're still a vegan if you're not doing the animal products. Um, but remember that being a vegan is not the only way to have a plant-based diet. I mean, technically speaking, you know, paleo is a plant-based diet, clean eating is a plant-based diet, people who are gluten-free can have high plant-based diets, low-carb people can have plant-based diets. You can have a plant-based diet a lot of ways. All that means is the base of your diet is around um, vegetables and fruits and nuts and seeds. And then when you start getting to beans and grains and meats, people will start to argue a little bit. But just keep that in mind when you're making these decisions for yourself. Now the next thing that I want you to think about is I want you to ask yourself, why are you choosing to be a vegan? Is it something that just rings true for you? It lights you up, it feels in alignment with who you are and what your value system is around food? Or have you been reading a lot about it and, and word on the street is that it's the best diet? that it's what you should do and that you're kind of thinking that th this is the way you gotta go. And the reason I say it is because we can create so much stress for ourselves when we start making these food rules in our head. And that emotional stress can definitely make you feel sluggish in your body. I mean, I want you guys to know and remember this, there, food has no moral value. Food is food. It is what we bring to the food. What are our beliefs about the food? What is our value system about the food that is gonna then create some type of value on that food? So you need to decide for yourself what is important to you and what is real and true for you and what feels right for you. And then just to button this whole conversation because I know that you were asking me what the pros and cons of eating meat and dairy are. I mean, for me, anything that is a real food is a green light and meat and dairy are real foods. But if you wanted to say what are the pros of being a vegan, well, of course, eliminating animal products is definitely better for the environment and for the earth, so that's a pro. And um, if you are doing a high quality vegan diet, you're having a high plant-based diet. That's a pro. Now, on the side of a con, you are eliminating a good, easy, convenient way to get high quality protein and the vitamin B12 into your diet. I do think, however, it's important to note that the quality of those proteins and of those vitamins is definitely gonna be a reflection of the quality of the dairy in the meat that you choose. If you are talking um, farm factory meat 
versus a high quality grass-fed meat and or dairy. You're talking about two completely different products. And in my opinion, we always wanna be reaching for the highest quality product we can. And if that is not an option, then we do wanna minimize the amount that we're including it in our diet because the energy and the efforts that go into the food and the animals that are ending up on our plates go into our bodies. And that's just the way it is. So I hope I helped to clarify this a little bit for you. Please guys, if any of you have any insider offerings that you could give to Hope um, as she tries to figure this out for herself, come on down into the comments below and share. And if you have any burning questions, please put them down below. And who knows, maybe your question will be in one of these videos. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness.